Tonight, investigators are speaking with a suspect who says he killed the large alligator that fatally attacked a man in Orange. Game wardens say the man should have called them to take care of it. The gator killed 28-year-old Tommy Woodward in the early morning last Friday at Burkhart's Marina in Orange. A justice of the peace says Woodward jumped into Adams Bayou last Friday and ignored warnings against swimming because of the presence of alligators. Some had seen a large gator near that marina. Monday, somebody shot and killed the 11-foot alligator, and it was confirmed it was the gator that killed Woodward. Game wardens say it's a Class C misdemeanor to kill an alligator, alligator without a permit. KFTM's Lauren Hewitt reports from Gator Country in Jefferson County. Come on, he's a jumper, he likes to jump. Come on. Gary Sarge owns Gator Country in Jefferson County, an alligator rescue park. He said, you don't have any food, he knows better. He works with alligators each day and knows what can keep people safe around them and what can put the public in danger. Here's how it doesn't happen again. Stop feeding alligators. If people aren't feeding alligators, this is not gonna happen. We've never had a fatal attack. This alligator was hand fed and everybody in the community knows it. Someone shot and killed this 11 foot 2 inch gator Monday at Burkhart's Marina in Orange. A justice of the peace says human remains found inside the gator were those of 28 year old Tommy Woodward. Investigators say he jumped into the water at about 2 a.m. Friday and ignored warning signs. And those alligators will lay right there and wait on that food. And unfortunately, that animal was laying right there. And, and the gentleman just didn't see it. Although it's illegal to feed alligators in the wild, it's not uncommon. There are several different restaurants and parks out there where people go and they enjoy feeding alligators. I can't tell you how dangerous that is. 90% of all your bites in the United States come from those, those alligators that have been hand fed. When an alligator is hand fed, it loses its fear of people. Something Gary Sarge sees all the time is a licensed nuisance alligator catcher responding to calls. If they have not been feeding that alligator, you know what he does first? Shoop, goes underwater and hides from me. But if he's been fed, I can splash the water, he'll come right to me. Wild gators stay away from people, but alligators that have been fed will wait for the next handout, like this gator here at the park. There it goes. That's how fast they do that. And instead of swimming away when something splashes into the water. When someone feeds them, you'll see what I'm talking about, about a reactionary bite. Or if someone happened to jump beside him. See what happens? It's that fast. He doesn't know, to, he doesn't know it's a body that just jumped in there because he's been hand fed. Sarge urges people to call Texas Parks and Wildlife before something like that happens. If you see an alligator like this and you, and you think, hey, listen, he's a little bit too friendly, we need to move those alligators. And, and there's proper ways to do that. We have to call Texas Parks and Wildlife. They'll make the decision on whether he needs to get moved. That was Lauren Hewitt reporting. Now the number for the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department is 892-8666. If you call and report an alligator, game wardens will determine whether or not the alligator needs to be moved. Then Texas Parks and Wildlife will give you the number for three different nuisance control alligator catchers, and one of them will respond. Well, we posted this story to our KFDM News Facebook page asking if the persons involved should be charged. So far, a handful of you have weighed in. This viewer writes, quote, the men should face charges and penalties. The deceased man should not have gone into the water. Another viewer writes, quote, a human life is more important than any gator. I believe game wardens would have killed it because it attacked a person. And this one, quote, that alligator was doing what alligators do. He was doing what his nature dictates he do. It's a shame when it happened, and I feel for his family and friends, but this guy ignored the warning signs. And this last one says, quote, no charges should be brought against whoever killed the gator. A human being was killed. Next, it could have been a child. Enough said. To view more comments or post one of your own, visit our KFDM News Facebook page.